All right, I think I'm live now. Hi everybody, how's it going here on Facebook World? I just wanted to hop on here. I did a little post about um, who I'm going to be inviting on today. So uh, she's a big leader leader in our company and uh, been in the industry for about five years now. And let me see if I can get some comments. I think I see all the comments here. And I uh, just need to wait for her to jump on. There she is. I'm gonna see if I can invite her. There we go. So while she's hopping on here, I'm just gonna do a little background. Um, she is um, a physical therapist, or had a background in physical therapy, uh, mom of four kids. Um, and I'll have her talk a little bit more about um, Go over a little bit more. Hi, Melissa, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. Yeah, I'm um, doing great. Just uh, um, so excited to have you on here. Um, I appreciate you taking the time to uh, do this live with me. I saw that you were on um, doing a video or a training earlier today on the products. That's awesome. Yeah. I, I got to watch most of it. So Good. really great, uh, great training. Awesome. It was, um, Thank you. Yeah, and then you were at, at yeah. And you were in Vegas too. I saw that you were on stage for a while. That's awesome. Great. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was um, pretty neat to walk the stage. It's um, uh, sometimes surreal. Like, really? I'm here? This is me? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah, how was your uh, experience over in Vegas? I was there for, for you know, Vegas too, but just getting everybody's. Um, you know, take on their experience too, uh, just so other people can know more about how that those type of conventions go. It's just such an amazing experience, I feel like. So. Yeah, Vegas was awesome. So short trip for me. I was there literally um, eight hours. So <laughs> flew in, flew out. And, you know, I've been in network marketing for five years now. So it wasn't my first go around at a convention. But I think a couple okay. things stood out. A couple things stood out to me. So if you're not familiar with network marketing, if you go to a convention, it's very inspirational, very motivating, lots of information, right? We, we released um, a new product, which was huge. So we got to learn all about that in the science. But one of the things that stood out to me about this, are you getting a lot of feedback in the background? Yeah, let me try and see if, I'm trying to connect my Bluetooth. Let me see. It sounds like there's like a whole, I don't know, army of people back there. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry about that. Um, That's okay. I don't know if whoever's on um, is no. hearing background noise too. Is anybody else hearing background noise? see let's see I see Laura's on uh, Trev let's see I don't think so let me see well that's all right and that's I'll why I have this Bluetooth then. and it's <laughs> <laughs> well that's all right I'll keep talking I mean one of the things that really stood out to me is you know all of the top top leaders in the company when they got up to talk um, it was so evident. None of them need to be with our company, right? They are financially set for life, but they all came back to work with our founder, right? They knew Dallin from previous, from working with him, either in one of his last two companies that he took to billion dollar status, which is massive in our industry. And there's only been about a dozen network marketing companies that have ever reached billion dollar brand status. And our founder was part of two of them. So all of these leaders that came back to work with him, they're back because they've been blessed by this industry and they want to raise up the next generation of professionals. And so for me, getting to hear from them and their knowledge, it was like, wow, you know, like this is the place I need to be if I want to be, you know, the next giant in this industry. And so that was a huge takeaway for me. I just loved soaking in all their knowledge and getting to hang out with them and hug them and see them. It's like a big family reunion every time we have a convention. How about you? Definitely. What, what was your thing? Oh, man. It was just uh, incredible to see that uh, – 
there is there is such a variety of stories. Like some people took like from other companies, of course, because our company is pretty new. But it took them ten years to meet, reach diamond uh, with diamond status, you know. But they're still so far ahead from somebody who didn't uh, even start. Um, and then you see some people like Melissa Duty who uh, reached diamond status in a year. It's just amazing story right there, and um, mm -hmm. just seeing all of the. Uh, just so much inspiration from or motivation yeah, inspiration from uh, all these top leaders and hearing that it's no matter what your background is it doesn't matter you can make this work so yeah and yeah. my dog's car so she say hi really quick so <laughs> awesome awesome so that was just amazing to me um yeah, so I wanted to dive into a little bit more of the um, misconceptions that people have about this type of industry. Um, sure. With my husband, he was kind of more of a skeptic in this uh, in network marketing, mm -hmm. and I was always more of the open-minded one, just looking for the right timing. I've been in one company before I jumped into uh, uh, our company, um, but uh, let's just go over some of the things that people are worried about, like why there's some this stigma to. Uh, uh, our company or our type of business network marketing you know yeah so I think there is a stigma you know one of the things people think is <clears throat> oh it's one of those you know say oh it's one of those pyramid things right like only the people at the top make all the money nobody makes money it's just a big scam um, and of course that's not true I mean I think the people that concessions are people that aren't educated on what our industry really is and if you look at any industry out there any a structure a traditional business is a pyramid of course right there's the CEO at the top and then you have your upper level management middle management lower management and then you have all of the regular workers and if you're a regular worker guess what you have a hard cap to your ceiling like to your salary you're never gonna make as much as you know upper level management unless you somehow get promoted to their spot and what are the chances of that right so in a traditional business it truly is a pyramid network marketing you know it's not it's anybody that comes in there is a model and a system that you can build to make money and create wealth and you can out earn anybody above you right we get taxed at a lower per there's so many events you get taxed at a lower percentage than traditional business so so there's that um and you know i think people just don't understand that you're building passive income here. So I think people think, oh, I have to go work for somebody. They're not going to pay me a salary. Well, no, that's like the genius part of network marketing. You want to go work your job, you're trading hours for dollars, right? They're going to tell you, okay, you work 40 hours a week. We're going to pay you X amount of dollars. It doesn't matter how good you are. It doesn't matter how hard you work. It doesn't matter how many customers you serve or how many people you mentor. That's as much as you can make in network marketing. You come in, you bring your work ethic, you build the model. The more people you help, the more money you end up making, right? Um, and it's passive income. This is a business that once you build, once you have people in place, it turns into a cash flowing asset. So, so that money comes in whether or not you're continuing to build. And of course, you're still going to build, but you're going to have a base level of passive income as you build this business. And that doesn't happen in your, in your traditional job, right? If you don't show up for work, what happens? You don't get paid, right? Um, if your boss says, hey, we're downsizing, there goes your income. You don't have a passive income that's built in a traditional business like you have here. So I think those are some of the misconceptions. Did your husband have any others that... Um, that you that were you know sort of in his head um just making sure that like oh do i i don't know enough people and oh. i i don't i don't want to i'm too introverted you know <laughs> how many introverts yeah. have we met <laughs> especially in vegas this is amazing Everybody oh my gosh me too. <laughs> yeah so yeah i think those are two things i don't know enough people like okay you don't have to know the whole sort of the beauty of Work marketing works. This is a business where you connect with people that you know. Network marketing. You connect with people you know, and then they go out and connect with people they know. And so I'll give you an example personal to me. Um, I 
I only personally enrolled 14 people into my business and I have over 430 people. Um, and so in network marketing, wow. it is, a, you essentially are a little franchise and your job is to go out and find other people that want to be franchise owners. And so I went out and I found people that wanted to sell our products to a few people and teach other people how to build a business. And that's what they do. And our team has massive duplication. I mean, the reason I've had so much success here is because of the coaching, the mentoring, our business school, our high retention and our high duplication. And it is because we have a system. And that's why I came here. I wanted the system. Um, systems create wealth. And so, yeah, you don't yeah. have to know a ton of people. You have to be willing to connect with the people you do know and plug them into a system that can teach them how to build a business. And as far as being an introvert, I am a massive introvert. You know, I am that person that at a big function, I sit in the back. I would rather talk to the one person I know and stand against the wall and watch everybody. Um, but I also, yeah, but you know what? I also do love people and I love mm -hmm. helping people. I'm a physical therapist by profession. And so I excel one-on-one. -on -one, and so I've been able to build on my strengths. And I think a lot of the people that are introverts in this industry do well because we're naturally good listeners because we don't like to talk. And when you listen to people, they give you reasons why they need what you have. You know, they either complain about their health or they complain about money or they complain about wanting more freedom or getting out of debt. And you're able to say, hey, you know, we have a solution. I can offer you something. Let me tell you about what I'm doing. And so I think introverts actually have an upper leg because we're more likely to kind of build one-on-one. -on -one and um, yeah, I think, I think you're right. I think a lot of people think you have to be outgoing. You don't, not true, not true at all. I agree. Yeah, that's amazing. Um, let's see. Uh, what's another thing? Uh, what's important too is, you know, with network marketing, making sure you just have, you know, high quality products um, and which is what our company has too. That's not the most important thing. Um, a lot of people have that con misconception that it's the products that make it like, oh, well, I'll try the products first and then maybe I'll, I'll want to join the business. It's like, you got to have that great product, but you have to have the business and the um, system to back it up too. I think that's even more important. Um, you probably agree too. <laughs> then um, you can have the best product in the world, but if you don't have a system um, to to bring it out there, it's not going to do well. So um, that's yep. something that I found in this uh, company and why I, I joined too. I knew there was something, uh, a system to help us to do well. Yeah, so, and I, I always use Starbucks and as an analogy. Yeah, I use Starbucks as an analogy. Okay. You know, think about your coffee shop down on the corner. Are they making more money? They might have the best coffee ever, but they're not making more money than Starbucks Corporation, right? Because Starbucks has a system. You know, they open up a franchise. Everybody knows what to do. Is the coffee good? Yeah, but is it better than maybe the whatever fancy schmancy stuff you get on the corner? Probably not. It's got to be good enough that people want to come and use it. And, you know, our products actually are, I think, best in class. Like, they are phenomenal. But if we only had great products and we didn't have a good system, you wouldn't have the opportunity to build a big business, right? Because that little coffee shop on the corner is never going to gross as much revenue unless they create a system and start duplicating them. And so that's what you have here. And I think you're right. I think some right. people will in network marketing, there's a lot of companies that do have great products and people think, Oh, I love that product. It's great. I'm going to build a business with it. Well, what happens if you jump into a company, and you only sell the products, you're basically a small business owner. You've basically bought yourself a job and now yeah. you're selling X, Y, and Z product out of your house, which is fine if that's what you want to do. But if you want to create wealth, you need to tap into a system. Um, and that's exactly what we have here. We have a system to create wealth through duplication. <laughs> you know, that's how network marketing is supposed to work. Exactly. That's a misconception. A lot of people think it's just selling product door to door. And that's not how it is nowadays. It's not about that. If it was about that, I wouldn't join, honestly. It's about getting other people in to consume the products and merchandise a little bit, yes. But 
the main thing is just consuming your products and sharing it with other other people. And that's not hard to do. People do that every day with other products. Why not get paid for it? So mm -hmm. that's a um, huge risk. Uh, let's talk a little bit about our business school as well. You know, it's it's a free business school that we get with our uh, company and our team, Overcome Nation. Um, talk about um, that business school and why uh, what Rick Gutman always says, um, the trend is our friend and how um, the business school just kind of goes over that part and, and how uh, it's so important to have that business acumen to be able to talk to other business owners and other people in network marketing to um, to show them our opportunity basically. Yeah, so the business school is so key. I mean, when people ask me, you know, what's the difference between your last company and this one? That's it, that's hands down the biggest differentiator in my success and my team's success. And so, you know, all network marketing companies, when you come in, you're gonna get some level of training or you should, if you don't, that's a really bad sign. But <laughs> most companies have some sort of onboarding and training. But what I don't see a lot in the industry is companies having ongoing continuous training that builds their people on all levels and especially the financial level. And so what Rick Gutman has created with our business school that's so unique is he teaches us, like you said, financial literacy. He teaches us business acumen. He teaches us how to truly grow the business um, and understand business as an entrepreneur because most of us didn't come into this having that background. And so for me personally, it's taught me how I can go out and talk to people. How does network marketing compare to real estate investing? How does it compare to being a small business owner? How does it compare to being a big business owner? You know, how, how, does, um, you know, how does it compare to all of these things in life, passive income versus linear income and cash flowing assets? I knew none of this, I'm a PT, I, I didn't have a background in this. But the more I've understood, the more I've been able to go out and talk to speak professionally and speak confidently and talk to them on a level they are, they'll understand. And that is so, so key and so missing in this industry. Too many people aren't talking about the industry as a form of creating wealth. And it truly is if you understand it. And, and that's what we get. And, um, you know, Rick has said from the very beginning that that business school would differentiate us and it has, we have the highest retention, highest duplication. Um, and I, and I love that when I bring people in, I know they're going to learn, they're going to grow, they're going to get the fundamentals and they're going to continue to be able to talk to other people about this industry. Right. Exactly. We have basically a invisible franchise here. Uh, let's talk a little bit about more about what that means and why it's so important to build cash flowing assets and how our system can help with that. Um, let's see. Oh, and then just basically the title of my live here with you today is, uh, you know, I've heard that you say that um, to retire at 66 you'll, uh, and live comfortably, you'll need to um, have 3.28 million in the bank to be able to do that. <laughs> and not many people have that much in the bank when they retire um, to be able to live comfortably at 95. And our, you know, longevity is increasing. So many people are living much past like 75. And um, that's a real problem nowadays. So people need to find ways to build that passive income. Um, and this is a great way to do that with very low overhead, um, low startup costs and basically debt free um, franchise. So let's go into that a little bit more too. <laughs> yeah. So Google, Google retirement calculator and plug in your numbers. Anybody on here, go do it okay. because your job will hit the floor. So I did it. I went in and I Googled retirement calculator. I put in my numbers. I said, okay, like I just put in a, an even number. So I said, okay, a hundred thousand dollars a year. And I want to retire at six live to 95. I'd like to live longer, but you know, I'll take what I can get. So if I want to do that and I want to retire on 80% of my income. And so experts will tell you, you should plan anywhere from 70 to 80, whatever. I don't want to live poor. I want to travel. I want to do stuff. So if I'm retiring at 80% of my yeah. income, how much money would I have saved by the time I hit 65? And it was 3.2 million, which to me, I was like, you have to be kidding. So obviously, if you have a pension, you that helps take some of that down. 
Um, Social security, if it'll be around by the time we get there, that'll take some of it down. But for me, I was like, holy cow, we have to find a way to start generating wealth and, and building our pot because I don't know if we're going to have 3.28 million. Um, and I actually looked, so I, I'm 36. So if you're 36 right now in your 401k, you would have to have 330,000 already saved if you're saving 10% of your income and you're going to get a 5% return. So go ahead and check yourself. If you're and if not, yep. you need to start bringing a stream of income. And so what I love about network marketing is another industry where for $2,000, you can start a business. You are going to be able to start owning rental properties for $2,000. Sorry, but you're going to have to put at least, what, 50000 down on a $250,000 property, and then maybe you're going to cash flow a couple hundred dollars a month, right? Real estate isn't probably going to do that flow you want. And to start a traditional franchisor business, you're talking hundreds of thousands of dollars. So network marketing, you can walk into very, very low initial startup, very low overhead. You can build debt free, right? You don't need trucks, inventory, warehouse, develop products. You don't have to hire employees. You don't have to pay for employees. Any of the headaches of a traditional business, you don't have to deal with. Um, and you can grow through your network and, and build this cash flowing asset. And then you can take that money and you can invest it into other areas so that money can make you money. And if you are thinking about your retirement at all, you should be thinking of ways to start creating more cash flowing assets. And I think network marketing is hands down the greatest form of wealth creation for the average American that doesn't have a couple hundred thousand dollars lying around to invest in a traditional business, right? That's most of us. So, um, and if you're not thinking about your retirement, hopefully when you Google retirement calculator, you're going to be like, oh shoot, I better go figure out what I'm going to do because who wants to be poor when they retire? You don't want to be poor. You want to go do all the things you want, you know? So yeah, I mean, cash flow and yes, it's, you got to have more than one stream of income. You really do. You have to have more than one. Exactly. Yeah, perfect. I guess um, for some reason my uh, video is breaking up a little bit now, so I think that's the, <laughs> the time to kind of start winding down a little bit, <laughs> unfortunately. I need to get a new phone. <laughs> but, um Yeah, I love that. Uh... <laughs> uh, thank you so much for uh, joining me today and explaining everything. Um, so I am going to post that link of uh, for everybody watching that retirement calculator, and I'm going to go check it out as well, because that number is going to be different for every person. and Everybody mm -hmm. needs to find out what their number is, plan for it, you know, mm -hmm. um, so love that part about it. And if uh, any of this resonated with anybody on uh, here on Facebook, if you're in Melissa's network, reach out to her. If you're in my network, please reach out to me and let's just have a chat. It can't hurt to have a chat and see if this is a good fit for you. Um, and um, otherwise, um, yeah, just finding something to, to build that uh, passive income is, is just so important. So thank you again for, jumping on this live with me. I really appreciate it. And um, yeah, I hope you have a great rest of your night and anything else you want to say before we close. And No, I think that was great. Yeah, that was great. Thank you so much for having me on. And I'm sure some people in your network tonight are going to be like having nightmares about their lack of retirement. They're going to wake up tomorrow and be like, um, <laughs> can you tell me about what you're doing? I think I need more money. <laughs> so sorry for all you guys that are, aren't sleeping too restful tonight. But yeah. All right. Well, have a good night. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>